Hey guys, this is Abdi Mahamanur. Welcome back. We are going to discuss math of form 4 statistics. We said it's a statistics that's not lie. Then for your information, it is very cheap by the way. Uh, and make sure you have the concept of form 2 it's of mathematics. Uh, it's there in our YouTube channel. Uh, you must take part in uh, in watching those videos of form 2 concept of statistics where we have been dealing with the uh, measurement of central density, that is the mod, mean, and median for your information. Like I said, we are going to see uh, those ones in advanced level. We are going to discuss today mean from assumed mean. Remember, assumed mean is also called a working mean. Working mean. So the, the, the reason as to why we are using uh, assumed mean to calculate mean is because we want to reduce the number of calculations involved. Guys, it is very deep, by the way. Then uh, there are ways to tackle questions from this kind of concept of mathematics. Uh, I will be teaching you three different ways of tackling depending on the nature of the question. Uh, lamp one will be tackling uh, a situation where we are given data without frequency, data which are not grouped. Then how are you going to tackle and get your uh, mean from us using the assumed mean? That's the question here. Guys, it is very easy and very, very welcoming, by the way. So let's go and see the first example. Let's see the first example, guys. We are told example one. This is our example one. Our example is saying like this. In an examination, in an examination, comma, you are told the max obtained, the max obtained by eight pupils, by eight pupils, wa, wa, fifty six, comma, we have fifty eight. Comma, we have 63, comma, 64, comma, 68, comma, 69, comma, 70, comma, and 72. As you know that you can still use comma here as far as the is concerned. Then, full stop. Then, uh, you are told, uh, full stop, using, you are told using uh, a suitable, using a suitable, assume to me. Using a suitable assumed mean, your total, comma, find, find the mean mark, find the mean mark. Full stop. Now, can you see now this kind of uh, data are not grouped, by the way, and they're not uh, having what frequency. So, what we're going to do is I uh, will come up with a table having two uh, groups that is. Uh, but before we go into that, let's see how we are going to get assumed to mean distance. Because we say the mean from uh, assumed to mean is greater than us. Uh, mean from assumed to mean is greater than us. Meaning we are using assumed to mean. is greater than us. Assumed to mean plus sum of deviation. Remember, this is the sign for sum in statistics. And then uh, D is for deviation. Then an N is the number of data you are having. Then let me get now assumed to mean. How are you going to get the assumed to mean? Sorry. Assumed to mean is equal to highest highest value of the data given plus lowest value lowest value of the data given divided by 2 so we are going to say uh, the highest from this uh, as you can see you can arrange the data in ascending order um, or, or from your point of view you can understand that 56 is the lowest in the data and uh, 72 is the highest so we can say 52 56, sorry, 56 plus 72 divided by 2. This will give us what? 128 divided by 2, which is 64. So this is the assumed mean we are going to use for our calculation. Then come here, you will have max. You will have max x. Then you will have deviation. Deviation. Deviation d is written as x minus a. Where x is the number of mark, uh, the, the data given. The data given is what you normally call x. So we are going to write uh, 56 here, followed by 58, followed by 63. We have 63. Then we have 64. Then we have 68. We have 68. Then we have 69. Then we have 70. Then we have 72. These are the data. To make the work very smooth and uh, straightforward, you can uh, draw lines of this kind. 
can draw lines to help you in calculating uh, this thing. You can draw lines that are separating the data. It is very, very helpful if you are willing to do so. Look here. This is what you're going to do. Then have a separating line here. Remember, deviation D is gotten as x value minus a, where a is the assumed mean. Don't forget that. So we are going to say 64 minus 56. Look at the order now. It's not a minus x. It is what? x minus a. Then we're going to say 56 minus 64. That is negative 8. This would be negative 6, yeah? It would be 58 minus 64, then negative 1. Then we'll have 0. Remember, we are subtracting a. This is our a. Yeah, we are going to say this value is minus a. So this will give us 4. This would be 5. This would be 6. Then this would be 8. So remember when you add these ones. Okay, we are going to say sum of deviation is equal to 20. Add this one, 23 minus, no, plus, minus, because they are carrying negative, the upper ones. Add them, that's 15, yeah? So this will give you what? Sum of deviation is equal to 23 minus 15, which is uh, 8. Then remember, uh, we say the mean from assumed to mean. Mean abbreviated as x power, this one, is equal to a plus sum of deviation divided by n. So x power, which is our mean, will be 64 plus 8 all over uh, 8. This will give us 64 plus 1. That will give us 65 uh, max, just understand. So this is how we are going to calculate mean from assumed mean given data only. Given what a data only. Remember, you are going to use the data coming up with two uh, groups. Yeah. Look here. You come up with two groups. Then here you write the max. Their deviation. Deviation is gotten as x, which is the values of the values given minus the, the assumed mean you have gotten from adding the highest and the lowest value of the data divided by two for your information. It is very, very easy, by the way, and we're coming by the year. Just understand. So in case you see such question, we carry what? Four max, armor, three max for your information. Then we will go ahead and see a situation where we will have data given plus uh, 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 frequency. It will be a data carrying frequency. Let's see that. Example two is what we're going to see. Let us see example uh, two. Let's see example two, this. Let's have this thing. Just understand. Let's see example two. Let's see our example two. This will be example two. Now you're told that the height to the nearest, the height, sorry. The height to the nearest, centimeter. The height, comma, of that people is, of that people is, are shown in the table below. Are shown in the table below. Okay, let's see now. You seen, you are told, you are forced. Look here. Sometimes they will instruct you. So there is no need of you going and, and getting what they are to you. Look at this one. You are told, you seen uh, uh, 152 as an assumed to me. Come on. Calculate the mean height. Calculate. The mean height. Full stop. Remember, this is the table you're having. Look at this table. This is our table. Then we have. This is the height. Uh, in the bracket, x centimeter. Then here we have number of people. Number of people. Then you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. OK. 
kind of see that this, this one by C. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So you can also add another one here. Let's extend this one. It should be nine. So we have 148 here, 149, 150, 151, 152, 153, 154, 154, 155. This is 155. Then we have 156. Then we have uh, uh, 1, 2, 2, 3, 6, 1, 2, 2, 3, 6. 6, 6, 6, then you have 7, 4, 3, 2. Now, uh, when you have uh, such information, remember this one is carrying what? Frequency. This is what the number called uh, frequency at this station. So, uh, uh, we will have two more uh, curves. Then here we are going to write the height in X, then followed by the number of frequencies. Number of frequencies, then we'll have a deviation. Deviation D. Then we know that deviation. Deviation D will be X minus 152 because you're first 152. Just check here. Then we will have lastly FD. FD means frequency times one deviation. So now what you're going to do here is actually, you can even uh, plot your line like this. You can have a table of this kind. You can have this table. Then remember we have uh, 148. 148. Your work should be smart here. Yeah? Just understand then. 149. Then we have 150, then we have 151, then we have 152, then we have 153, then we have 154, then we have 155, then at last we have, last we have, 156 yeah. Just look here. It's very easy. Then under this you can have this thing. You can say here uh, we have uh, one, two, two, three, six, seven, four, then three, two. So deviation we are taking this one. Remember. So uh, this will be negative 4 for your information this will be negative 4 negative 3 negative 2 then negative 1 then 0 because with 2 minus with 2 remember we are saying x minus just understand the order then here it will be uh, 3 uh, no sorry this will be 1 2 2 3 then uh, 4 and uh, when you add these ones you realize that when you add these ones Ah, we, can, we are not going to say like previously what you have been saying, we will not add this one because you have FD. So remember this is F, sorry, this is F, lambda of frequency, lambda of frequency is the of the frequency. So it will be F, yeah? F, yes. Then we are going to say FD, F times D, this will be negative 4, negative 6, negative 4 again, negative 3, 0, 7, 8, nine eight so when you add this one yeah we are going to say sum of fd sum of fd it will be what add this one this is a uh, negative 17 yeah and this is what 17 plus 15 that's two 17 plus 15 is what that's two so we're going to say 32 minus add this one this are 17 yeah 17 so sum of fd therefore will be 
15. So and here we have uh, the sum of D, the sum of uh, F. So that's sum of F. Sum of F is what? Add them. So it's here, the sum of F is here, that here. It is that. So we're going to say the sum of, this is the sign for this sign here. Sum of F is equal to that. Then this time we're going to say as mean is equal to A plus sum of deviation divided by sum of F. Sum of what? Sum of F. So we are going to say a mean therefore is equal to and 152 plus 152, remember is the assumed mean, plus 15 divided by that. So this will give us 152 plus 0 0.5, which will give us 152.5 as the final answer. 152.5 centimeters. So this will be uh, the final answer for your information. And this is how you're going to get that during uh, how you're going to tell during uh, examination. So just get the difference between this one and the previous one. Remember for this one, we have data uh, together with the frequency. Yeah? Then you will come up with this for columns here, height, which is the data, uh, number of this will be your frequency. Then deviation you are told, take this one as assumed to be 152. Then taking that one, you're going to say x value minus 152 diagram, 148 minus 152 is negative 4. 149 minus 152 is negative 3. 150 minus 154 it's negative. 152, sorry, is negative 2. Then 151 minus 152 is negative 1. 152 minus 152 is 0. 153 minus 152. Remember the order is what? X minus 152, where X and this numbers. Then after that, you're going to get sum of F, which is already that, and sum of FD. So assume mean is equal to from assumed mean, assumed mean plus sum of deviation divided by. Uh, sum of frequency in this situation it will be 152 plus 15 divided by 15 which is that one divided by that which will give us uh, 15 divided by that is 0 0.5 then we're going to say 152.5 for your information uh, in our next class we are going to see as to uh, the end and we're looking for the how to look the assumed mean, uh, mean using the assumed mean again eh, using what you normally call grouped data yeah grouped data is what you're going to see guys my brothers and sisters, mathematics or form for is not hard. And I will also simplify for you. Make sure you subscribe and uh, share this information with your family members and uh, friends, uh, as well as your schoolmates. Guys, I wish you the best always.